1917 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. This circulated coin was graded as EF40 by PCGS. Obverse side displays circulation wear on high points, accompanied with unpleasant tarnish stocks around some device elements. Both the date and in God we trust show bold doubling on this immensely popular cherry pickers and guidebook variety. It ended up selling for $1,140. Number 7. 1955 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded as XF45 by PCGS. Popular and very scarce double die Lincoln sent with full, bold doubling on the date and obverse lettering. This circulated yet highly elusive penny displays numerous distractions on both sides. Light circulation where is seen on high points. It was sold for $1,620 on January 14, 2024. Number 6. 1941 Proof Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR67 read by NGC. According to Grading Service, despite a sizable jump in sales from 1940s mintage, this date is not any more common in high grades. In addition, cameo pieces are extremely elusive, the example shown having about as much contrast as one could find with this date. Over-polished dyes are common for 1941 proofs, as the mint struggle to keep up with the rising demand by sending slightly worn dyes back to be resurfaced. This PR67 specimen was sold for $1,740. Number 5. 1958D Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus read by PCGS and proven by CAC. According to Jamie Hernandez, the 1958D Lincoln Cent is the last wheat Lincoln Cent struck at the Denver Mint. This year the Denver Mint did a much better job at producing nicer coins compared to the previous years. Therefore, the 1958D tends to come in much better quality. In MS65 condition they are now abundant. In MS66 grade there are many examples available and many of them being high-end for the grade. In MS67 condition they are also much easier to find and there are plenty out there for collectors to choose from. This plus designated gem ended up selling for $2,278.12 with buyer's fee. Number 4. 1972 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded as MS67 read by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, several double die varieties exist for the 1972 Lincoln sent, although FS101 is by far the most dramatic and most sought after. Bold doubling is visible on all obverse legends, especially Liberty and the date. This high-end example is a satiny, pristine copper red superb gem. Sharp detail and outstanding eye appeal are its hallmarks. One of three double dies in this grade attributed as FS101 by PCGS, although about 100 additional, unattributed double die coins are reported. It was sold for $2,400. Number 3. 1921 Lincoln sent in Mint State 66 plus red. Another CAC approved superb gem. According to NGC, the minting of cents at Philadelphia dropped off rapidly during 1921, as the huge numbers struck during the previous five years proved quite sufficient to meet current demand during this recession year. Unlike most Philadelphia mint cents, this date is a bit scarce in fully red gem condition. Worn examples are plentiful. This red superb gem ended up selling for $3,835.12 with buyer's fee. Number 2. 1912 Proof Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR66 Brown by PCGS. Surfaces of both sides are graced by neon blue, violet, seaweed green hues. No large distractions are evident on either side. According to NGC, the matte grain of 1912 proofs typically is deeper than for other dates 1909-16, and this issue is also notable for its uniformly bold strike. While these conditions make for a wonderful illustration of the design, they have also tended to limit the number of fully red survivors. An odd feature of copper and bronze coins is that the most fully struck pieces are also the ones most susceptible to toning. This toned specimen fetched a sum of $4,800 on January 14, 2024. Number 1. 1914 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 64 read by PCGS and proven by CAC. According to Heritage Auctions, a well-struck example of this key Denver issue, 
showing natural amber red luster with golden undertones. Minimal marks and just a few pepper specks are seen, none out of line for the grade. The 1914D is elusive in attractive red condition, and coins grading finer than the present are especially scarce. This piece is rare with CAC endorsement. It ended up selling for $11,100. So there you have it, 8 rare pennies you should seek in 2024. Remember, when it comes to coin collecting, attention to detail is key. Check your pocket change, roll through those coin rolls, and who knows, you might just stumble upon a valuable piece of numismatic history. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more coin collecting insights. God's willing, see you in the next video.